Hi, this is Avina. I lead the Place and Route team for Custom Compiler. Today, I'd like to talk about early electrical analysis in Custom Compiler. Needless to say, there exists a gap between pre and post layout simulation results. Designers can't close their designs without multiple costly iterations through the layout. With Extraction Fusion, it is possible to get accurate simulation results on the best available information from partial layout, saving lots of rework and lost time. This flow uses sign-off tools such as Star RC, SPICE, and IC Validator very early in the design cycle to get resistance, capacitance, and layout-dependent effects like shallow trench isolation and well proximity effects of a partial layout without being LVS clean. Our partners have reported 2x faster design closures with this flow. The visually assisted layout accelerates layout creation with template-based designs, coupled with the partial layout extraction for early layout feedback. This is what everyone needs for faster design closure. I'm going to take you through the steps of early electrical analysis with visually assisted automation and extraction fusion technology. This is a VCO control amplifier and I'm browsing the templates available in the library and it has found four matches of different sub-circuits. In the template view, you can see the different layouts available and you can pick and choose the one that best fits your need. Next, you add it to your design and constraints are automatically transferred from templates to the design. Here, I'm reviewing different parts of the circuit that are attached to the templates. Once the layout engineer starts the layout, templates are transferred to the layout through SDL, schematic driven layout. In the template manager, we see four templates here. To quickly place the layout from these, you can use the auto placer to generate the possible combination using templates. Once I review the results in the placement gallery, I realize that none of these options are good enough for me. Next, I add a column placement constraint. When I rerun the placer, it places the template generated layout in a column fashion. Now I can select the results that work for me in the layout canvas. Layout generated from templates comes with correct placement and routing, following topologies and layout knowledge from previously done layouts. Next, I want to run simulation on this partial layout. After routing a few critical nets, and for that, I will use the auto router. I select the critical nets and use the auto router to complete the connections. I will extract RC and LDE from this partial layout so that I can run simulation using these early layout effects. The partial layout extraction flow uses the same setup and settings which you will use for sign off LVS and extraction. It will run IC validator star RC and generate a partial layout SPF. Next, let's run the simulation flow. I have created a test bench which uses the same circuit here which we just built partial layout for. With the simulation and analysis environment, I am running AC and LSTB analysis for this amplifier circuit. We run the pre-layout simulation and it shows the expected board plots for the frequency response, just to make sure the circuit is behaving the way 
I want. I will use the hierarchical editor to use my SPF generated from partial layout in the test bench. Let's use this partial layout SPF to run the simulation. Going back to the simulation environment, run the simulation using the partial layout SPF. Here I'm comparing the partial and pre-layout simulation results. After my layout is complete, I come back to compare the post layout simulation with partial layout simulation results and partial results were already pretty close to the final layout which was very early in the design cycle and that's how partial layout extraction reduces accuracy gap by avoiding layout iterations and you achieve faster design closure with visually assisted automation and extraction fusion for more information please visit www.customcompiler.info. Thank you so much for your time.